this has got to be one of the most unlikeliest of places to make an exciting image. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, author of Understanding Exposure and Learning to See Creatively. What lies before me are the makings of what I believe, you'll agree, is a truly exciting image. I've got my bottle of sparkling water, San Pellegrino, mineral water, sparkling water, club soda, they'll all work just fine. I've got a little clasp, a clothespin, equally well. And a lemon slice, some old leftover Christmas wrapping paper, a normal, ordinary household vase, nothing up my sleeve, and my ever trusty reflector. We're gonna combine all this into what I honestly believe is gonna make you think about many other creative possibilities that you can do outside any time of year as long as you got sunshine. So for starters, I put the Christmas wrap down, put the vase on top, got my lemon slice, put it on the glass edge, like so. Now it's all clasped together. I then take my sparkling water, fill it up, so I end up with the water coming all the way to the top, almost, about halfway, about like so. Now I'm going to take the bottle and place it behind here and prop up my paper, like so. So I got the paper all duct taped, I got the reflector in place, and I want you to see what happens and why I need the reflector. I got some strong side light coming in, take the reflector out, we've got a background here that's not quite in the same sunlight as this is, in fact it's in open shade. But with the reflector out, in this case silver side, I do have a gold but I'm using silver because I do not want to warm the light up. I want the light to be constant, in this case constant white. This is constant warm, I want white. I can throw light onto that background and also fill in a little bit of light here on the side of the lemon. So reflector in place, camera's all set up, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm almost set. I wanted to be clear about one other thing. I'm using a 200 millimeter macro. I prefer that you use a macro lens. If you don't have one, you can certainly use a combination of extension tubes with like your 70 to 200 or a 35, 70, 24, 105. Something though that will get you close. Aperture choice, that's important. I'm gonna to go to f16 and because I'm focusing close there's not a real depth of field concern here. That wrapping paper isn't gonna show up as we see it as much as it's gonna be an out of focus tone of green. Green's a really nice complement to this yellow. We're all set at f16, I adjust the aperture and my shutter speed says take this picture Brian at a 1 1 25th of a second and I do. What do you think? Well if you're like me I hope you found that to be an exciting image. But keep in mind, it's not limited to a lemon slice against green Christmas wrapping paper. You could use an orange slice against a blue papered background. The choice is yours. Until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting.